everybody. Welcome to 2024. Oh my God, this is 2024 already. I am Karen. And my name is May. And we are from Boomers to Gen Z. And we're going to do some follow-up from last week's conversation and uh, meeting our resolution and how we can achieve our goals for 2024. So please don't go away. So May, last week, we talked about your resolution and one of it was to lose weight mm -hmm. and the second thing was to uh, have better finances, right? Yes. Okay. So can I ask, uh, have you put down on paper how much you want to lose? No, not on paper, but I know. Okay, which is? 15 kg. 15 kg. And how do you plan to lose this 15 kg? Um, so I'm not going to eat out so much. I think that that also will help me with the whole finances thing. So stop ordering on Grab as tempting as it is. However busy I am, just really just grab something in the kitchen. Um, at least you're just eat, eating things from home. And I will exercise or at least try to exercise uh, three gonna, times a week. I'm going to stop you there because you said I will try. Try will give you a, an excuse of not doing it. Okay, fine. So I will exercise, but not like go to the gym. So like maybe I'll go for a swim or a walk. Just move my body because I also work from home. So I noticed that that... That is my big excuse to like why I'm so unhealthy. But then also we can go downstairs and there's amenities. <laughs> so I think my, my excuses are catching up with me. Yes. Um, but yes, I will move actively at least three times a week. Okay. And so have you put down or have you thought about how many kilos you want to lose each month? No. Okay, so my advice is, you say you want to f uh, lose 15 kilos, right? So let, let's just put an average of something 1 to 1.5 kilos a week. Uh, a uh, sorry, week? a month. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> a month. So that you, you, you break down your goals into more achievable goals, right? Mm. So that gives you a little bit of leeway, like maybe uh, Diwali, you're going to eat a little bit more so you Maybe, you know, you may not lose one and a half, but you lose one mm. uh, and you you start. Because we are human beings and we need, we need that little wins to keep us going. Okay. I think that's okay. a fair assumption, right? And at least, like, yeah, it's like checking the boxes, right? right. And then I, I would at least be able to keep track. Like, oh, maybe this month. I only lost one kg, so next month I know where I had my cheat days. Yeah. And next month I need to try and make up for it by losing two kg. Correct. Something like that, right? And the other thing is, uh, you know, put down in your schedule mm -hmm. and be committed to it. So if you say you're going to exercise three times a week, put it down. Put it down what days, what time, and be committed to just doing it okay okay because if not if you don't put it down and you don't put it on your yeah, phone calendar, calendar and and it doesn't prompt you you're gonna say oh i'm too lazy i'm not going to do it i think the biggest thing with me i noticed so like I, I put my meetings and stuff into my calendar right but because i don't put in anything that's for me like i don't block slots to like um, cook or prepare food so then my, my work gets piled up and then in my head I'm like oh I work the whole day so I'm just gonna order grab because it's quicker mm -hmm. where else I can actually block time to do these things and just put it in another color so that I am making my work also work around like the things that I want to achieve yeah and then, and then uh, the food bit my advice is uh, you know I know you cook a lot so when the, the, the time that you're cooking, you can actually already pre-prepare uh, the, 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 the items that you already need for, you know, your lunch that you're generally mm. alone and say, okay, I'm going to eat this or cook enough a little bit for your dinner that lunch you can eat and then you do a fresh lot for dinner and then you can eat the lunch kind mm. of thing. And, and that will help you a lot because that will also give you 
something that okay I'm, I'm, but you know i'm not saying don't have your cheat days do have your cheat days but let's keep it to maybe one cheat meal per week and not, yeah and not have multiple cheat meals <laughs> kind yes. of thing yes and i think also like how so i think like last week i also talked about how i wanted to cut habits right like right. unhealthy habits okay so another thing that i think will contribute to my weight is actually alcohol okay so like cutting that so being my age a lot of like i think people my age like the majority there's some like really good ones out there but the majority whenever you want to hang out for some reason alcohol has to be involved mm. so to sort of like try to shift that into something else like rock climbing or or just you know going some to a cafe and like chilling together actually talking because when you go drinking it's not like you can hear each other no it's too loud <laughs> you know so just making that shift as well i think that would also help me because I'm changing a lifestyle to be a healthier lifestyle, then hopefully everything will. It, it will, it will. I think, I think, uh, uh, for me, I am, I, I love exercising, and I say it. I know people hate me for it. I don't get it. <laughs> I enjoy exercising, uh, uh, but there are people who enjoy exercising, but they like it as a team effort. For mm. instance, maybe playing badminton mm-hmm. or things like that. So. One way, just a suggestion, maybe play badminton with Zach for one hour. That way you are you are with him and that you are having a good exercise at the same time. Yeah. And that's I've idea. seen uh, this portable exercise thing, uh, uh, badminton, where the net is portable. Uh-huh. So they, they put it on the stand and you can play anywhere. So you can create a, just about yeah, anywhere. Yeah, that's fine. Empty cup. Correct. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so that would be yeah. uh, something yeah. that could be fun. Uh, join a group of ladies to play uh, a sports game. It could be basketball, mm-hmm. it could be Zumba netball or Zumba. <laughs> so, yeah, exercise it can be in any form and it's a great way to connect with friends. And, and uh, yeah, so I do a regular meetup with some friends uh, twice a week. And what we do is we just hug. So instead of saying, oh, meet up for dinner, which is, you know, very Malaysian, is every meal from lunch and dinners and whatever, uh, we decided that we were all getting fatter and fatter because we were always eating and, you know. Mm-hmm. So, so we decided, okay, instead of meals, we slot in a two-hour hike mm. in the evenings or the morning. And uh, so while we complain and and rant about family and everyone else we are hiking and huffing and puffing so that is really good so See, that's what we we do i think that these type of things are better and honestly like if i think for my generation if you want to make that shift and your friends are not shifting with you then don't feel like you have to shift backwards to yeah. what they are doing do it yourself even if it's just one person willing to do it with you or find like like Karen said, like groups of people who are already doing this yeah. and just join in. Correct. And because you, you, it's a great way where um, you meet new friends as well. And maybe these are, you know, it's, it's, your, it's your Zumba class friends or yeah. it's your, you know, badminton kaki, as yeah. say, you know? yeah. And I promise you, uh, d- don't, you know, um, when you start doing these little, little things and make it, Make it a habit for me, mm. because these are, uh, you know, I, I learned something very very crucial, is that, um, you you know, human beings are always comparing with everyone. We are always comparing ourselves with somebody else, and I remember when I started this journey to do a uh, podcast and to do e commerce, which is like no experience, zero zero experience doing it. And then I was looking, um, I love Mel Robbins, I love people like Rob Dahl, and I listened to them. And and then what they said was very, it, it just triggered me. Um, and it, 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 I just want to share it with you guys, is that we compare to somebody, but you need to compare with somebody when they were at the same stage as you. Mm-hmm. Because we don't realise Mel Robbins has been in the business for more than 10 years. Mm. And and she worked down hard. Every day she's sending out messages. She has a podcast that comes out three times a week. And, and that's why she got millions and millions of followers, right? 
but she didn't do that overnight. Yeah. Right? And and you know, so when we compare, you should only compare at the same stage as that person. Because what we see is a successful version. You haven't seen the one that way he or she just starting out or the years and years of hard work that went into it and and the, the struggles that they went through. Mm-hmm. And so if you can when you realize that, then you say, hey, okay, I, I can do this. I can because, yeah, that person took five years to get there. I'm just in the beginning of the journey. Of course, it will take forever for me <laughs> yeah, to grow yeah, and, yeah. and get there, right? So I when, when that reflection came to me, um, that gave me courage to keep, you know, going on because doing what I'm trying to do now is scary. It's not easy. And um, yeah, it's, it's just not easy. And, and it takes time to build and to get to a level that so-called to be successful because at the end of the day, all what we're doing is really, we're not even able to monetize anything right now, yeah. right? Yeah. So dedication to the dream, Karen. Yes, <laughs> yes. And not, and not quitting on yourself, I would say. So, so the other thing you talked about as well was to achieve your financial goals for 2024. So may I ask, are you willing to share with our audience uh, what is your financial goal that you'd like to achieve? So I would, I would like to be, well, I am a, I am a single mom, so please don't like hear this figure and be like, oh, why, why so much? You know, like I, I have a lot of commitments and realistically, I, to be comfortable, I need at least like 12,000 a month so that I can build up the savings, mm-hmm. pay for what's needed to be paid and make sure we still have everything that we need and mm-hmm. our occasional treats. Um, so yeah, so 12,000. Right. Okay. And, and are you, what was, again, simple is what steps have you thought about? So I know with, with like the marketing stuff that, that, that will just go as it is, but what I need to do is I need to start putting myself out there a little bit more to start getting contracts that secure me for a year. Mm-hmm. So something I can sign a contract that there's this for sure amount of money that's going to come monthly for a year as long as I don't breach the contracts. Um, and if I get just like two of those, mm-hmm. I think that that will easily help me hit my target. And the cool thing about what I do is the more that I take videos and show that I'm doing it, the more that people see, you know, it's like this chain reaction. Yeah. So when I get those two, I'm pretty sure that I will start getting more as well. And at the moment, the, like what I'm doing, it's all just me by myself. Right. So there's only so much I can do, even if I wanted to earn more, I'm just one person. Mm. So I'm limited by the hours of the day in order for how much I can earn. Right. So if I were able to move into a direction where I'm earning more from workshops and training, which takes less time, but they pay better, okay. then I'd be able to start building a team for the marketing stuff. Mm. Okay. So that's that. And then it will slowly grow from there. Right. And then, yeah, I, I would definitely uh, advise you to, to, to again, break it down in monthly, monthly goals and monthly uh, like step by step. That yeah. way, again, the idea is you're not going to achieve your goal overnight. Yeah. So like you said, you want to lose 15 kilos. Like if you go to the gym today, mm-hmm. do you expect to have a flat six-pack ab and tone body tomorrow? No, I'll probably lose like 100 calories. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, you know, you, your expectation is that you know you're not going to get it tomorrow. But you know that if you do that exercise regularly, yeah. you know that you will get, get to that. Yeah, eventually. Exactly. Yeah. So, that is what they call the law of 100. So, it's like, uh, you know, you expect that 1% improvement every day for 100 days to make it a habit-forming Hundred days to follow. Yeah, it takes. Oh, it's just twenty one. No, hundred days to to form a stellar habit that will make that significant change in your life. 
Okay, 100 days. Are you guys with me on this 100, 100 day challenge? 100 days, we hold her <laughs> accountable, get her ready to, uh, to, to make it, uh, uh, to lose the 15 kilos and to make that 12,000 a month uh, goal <laughs> that she's looking at. Okay. <laughs> Anything for you, Karen, for your goals? Oh, you had you had lots with the product line and the ah, so okay. you you mentioned the product line. So what are you gonna be doing? Okay, I haven't thought about um the steps yet for the product line, but I have thought about the uh community because I am very passionate about the community and uh the last week I, I spoke about was having an event, a face-to-face, and uh, hopefully to have about 5,000 followers that will join our social media. Mm-hmm. And that this face-to-face, hopefully my goal is to get 1,000 people participating. Okay. And uh, so the goal is um, this year, uh, number one, I'm going to start live streaming. Okay. So I will. I want to reach out to people who enjoys live streaming to to talk to me and participate and get more uh, wisdom from each other. Uh, so that's one thing that I plan to do. Uh, I plan to uh, reach out to some other podcasters and as well as uh, media outlets to to talk to so that I can be featured, so that you hear more of me and that, uh, you know, keeping uh, and maybe, you know, listen to our podcast a little bit more often. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, so, uh, and then the goal for the event uh, in my head space is uh, probably the first week of December. Okay. So that gives me, you know, about 10, 11 months to achieve that big event. Okay. Okay. Exciting. Exciting. So I guess we will also hold Keep me accountable. Keep Karen accountable. And if you need help being accountable, you could leave your like name in the comment section. Um, we would actually like love to talk to you all more, I think. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that to engage with you guys if you have any questions. Um, yeah, so we have like the women at midlife page yeah. that they can always come to. Exactly. So join us. We are not boring. We are here for you. We are not boring. Not boring. <laughs> Such a boomer thing to say. We are not. <laughs> and you have different perspective from a young, beautiful 20s uh, to a young, older 50s. <laughs> we, uh, you know, we, we love to hear from you and get your viewpoint and have fun. Uh, listen to the uh, podcast. So until next time, bye.